Hi, this is Matt from Envision Community, and today we're going to look at some ways you can help mitigate spam on your community. Spam is an everyday part of life with the internet. I certainly get enough in my inbox, but Envision Community has some powerful tools to help you mitigate it when it comes to running your own community. The first thing we're going to look at is the spam defense system, and this is unique to Envision Community, and it uses a centralized way of detecting if people trying to register on your site are spammers or not and the score returned from the spam system is graded out of four and you can choose which action to take based on the score that's returned. Um, as you can see we preset it to sensible, um, sensible presets. Um, four out of four is almost certainly a spammer so the default is, is not to allow the, the, the user to register but if you can change that depending on your on your community type although we do recommend you keep that as is so that happens behind the scenes when someone tries to register there's nothing visual on the front end to show that it just happens all in the back end and the uh, system will return the score which your envision community will use to determine what to do so that's the most powerful tool we have and we find that catches quite a lot of spammers um, and if you do keep this checked as yes when you flag a member as a spammer and we'll go through that shortly that information gets passed along to the centralized system and that helps build up that database uh, the second thing is the most simple and that's a capture you've probably seen these on your travels um, the default is the recapture version 2 I don't know if you remember in the past you had to fill in those squiggly letters and nine times out of ten you got it wrong especially on mobile and it was kind of crazy um, but now we have the recapture too which if you're lucky you just tick and that's done if you've hit a form uh, several times it might ask you to solve a little puzzle like click all road signs in a picture and that'll let you through so that's the simplest way of stopping robots and scripts from registering um, we do have the invisible recapture now which works along the same way in that a centralized service determines whether the person using the computer is a robot or a spammer um, and there is nothing to tick but you can tell you're protected by that in the corner and that works like magic as far as I'm concerned so that's good if you're feeling brave you can disable capture completely um, but as the warning says here it's not really recommended so stick with either of these two depending on your, your community the visible ones probably the least obstructive because there's nothing for the person to do although recapture version 2 is good and we use that as a default and those are quite effective ways of stopping bots and scripts and so on trying to register in your community um, another tool to look at which might not be for every everyone but this one is again very useful if you run a community that is based around a, a particular theme or niche uh, such as a TV show you might want to add a question and answer challenge to your registration form that only members registering would know so uh, if you're running a say let's you're running a forum about the show TV show Brooklyn Nine Nine, you might say who is the captain called? That's terrible English. You could have said what is the name of the captain, but it's too late. I've done it. And you can add variations of the answer, case insensitive. But you know someone might type in Captain Holt, or someone might just say Holt, or someone might say his full name, Raymond Holt. And then. Just reload this when you go to sign up you will have the question and answer challenge here and that's really a good way of again slowing down bots and scripts and even human spammers that just try and register 24 and they come across because unless you watch the tv show you may not know this answer and that slows people down again that's not for every community but if you if you run a community in a in a, in a niche or based around a, a theme and um, that's often a good way to add an additional barrier okay so Earlier on we talked about um, flagging spammers, okay? Now this is a powerful tool. Say all these things, that you, all these barriers you've put in place will stop maybe 95% of spammers getting through. But they're particularly sneaky and a few will always sneak through. Um, so we have tools to help clean up and manage that. So um, when you flag a member as a, as a spammer, there are different things that can occur. See, so by default, we restrict them. We sort of effectively block them from posting anymore. Uh, and any content is hidden and that's quite good if you would like to review it just to make sure your moderators aren't being overzealous but if you trust them or you have a small team you can just choose to delete it and then ban the member for life so that gets rid of them for good um, so we can see this in action once I log in
Okay, so we have a spammer here who's registered with the name spammer, which is really, really helpful. And if we go to their profile, we have an option to flag them as a spammer. And I am sure, thank you. Okay, and we can see straight away here, let me go back to their topic, that it's been hidden. So that's no longer viewable by anyone else other than the admin and moderation team. Um, and then you can choose to delete it if you wish. Or have someone else review it um, just to determine that one of your moderators isn't a little bit overzealous and incorrectly flag someone as a spammer. Uh, and just recapping, you can have it deleted automatically and ban a member if you run a small team that you're confident with. One last tool I want to show you is using the group promotion system. Um, and this is a, a kind of a clever way of putting your new members in probation. And you want to use this sparingly because you don't want to slow uh, new posters down too much. But again, if you're thinking about it from a probationary point of view, you could, you could add a rule um, that promotes normal members to full members after five posts. So five posts is usually a good yardstick that they are not a spammer or they're not there to cause trouble in your community. And very simply, um, we just ask that they had more than five content pieces before they're upgraded. Um, and the real power is in the groups. If we look at um, the normal members group as being the probationary group, we can restrict certain permissions um, and we can even look at um, slowing down how much they can post a day, how much they can um, uh, their edit time restriction um, and yeah here we go so you can say to probationary users you can only post 10 items a day so that will stop someone coming in spamming and flooding your site and after five items or whatever you choose they are promoted to full member and that restriction is lifted so it's a good way of putting your members through a little probationary period to gain their trust to make sure they are not there to cause you any harm and that's it. That's a very quick run through. If you um, configure all those tools correctly and use them, you will see a, a huge drop in the, the amount of spam that your community gets. Um, let me know if you've got any other tips. Thanks.